Hi, everybody. Um, I was really honored that Michael chose my poem to be the first piece in the journal. And um, I'll just read it to you. I think that a lot of the poems, as I was reading through the journal, I noticed how much um, water is caught up in our ideas of place. So this is a poem about water giving a sense of place. Route 1, Delaware. The motel room was like a dorm, vinyl walls the color of putty, two double beds, coverlets worn thin, cigarette burns, a steel kitchenette, mini fridge that froze everything to slush. I wore flip-flops in the shower. The water smelled of iron, the sour smell of a body when it's bleeding. I said, feel how soft it makes my hair. But he didn't like the scent on his skin, wouldn't drink the tap stuff, only bottled. We tried to boil it, but the water was stained with rust. He sulked, watched the news on cable TV, while I stood in the shower and let the water run, bloodless and pungent, over my sun-hot skin. Thank you. And my daughter asked me to read a water poem from my chapbook. Um, this comes from a series of poems that I wrote at, at and about the bus stop. So it's called Because We Were Rushing to Catch the Bus. Because we were rushing to catch the bus, we did not notice the rain. Too late for umbrellas. We ran down the sidewalk, wishing we'd taken the car. Because we ran under rain-soaked trees, the children's heads were damp when I kissed them at the corner. Because the children were gone, I walked home alone, dishes in the sink, waiting. Because of the dishes, I bent my head before the kitchen window. A petal fell from my hair, a pink thumbprint against metal, pink against the gray day, pink against the absence of children. It shook me awake. Because we were rushing to catch the bus, I carried beauty unknowing.